I hope I will be able to confide everything to you, as I have never been able to confide in anyone, and I hope you will be a great source of comfort and support. Anne Frank was a normal teenager living in the Netherlands when she wrote her first entry in a diary she received for her 13th birthday. She and her family moved from Frankfurt after Hitler's rise to power. She began the diary just weeks before July 5, 1942, when her family was told they would be deported to the Westerbork concentration camp. The first entries that she wrote in it 75 years ago this week um, show the last glimmer of normalcy, the last glimmer of a normal life of a girl with friends and social plans and plenty to eat, and how quickly she suddenly is funneled into this nightmare world of having to be literally physically hidden. This room in Amsterdam became a shelter for Anne's family and a few other Jews. A bookcase hid the door to the room where Anne spent hours writing letters to her imaginary friend Kitty. Like a normal teen, she writes about her troubles, love and family, but she also writes about the food supply that was dwindling during the Holocaust. In the evenings when it's dark, I often see long lines of good, innocent people, accompanied by crying children, walking on and on, ordered by by a handful of men who bully and beat them until they nearly drop. No one is spared. The sick, the elderly, children, babies and pregnant women all are marched to their death. Anne wrote her last entry in the diary on August 1, 1944. Everybody who was hiding in the building was found, arrested, and sent to a death camp. She died in March of 1945. I actually would say I have, uh, in some ways, a least favorite quote, which is the, uh, the most quoted line, the one about, in spite of everything, I believe that people are good at heart, because I think it kind of flattens her into somebody who somehow was looking at everything through rose-colored glasses. And when you read the diary in its entirety, you see that, in fact, she was acutely aware of the unfairness of what was happening to her. Anne's father, Otto Frank, the only member in the family to survive the Holocaust, decided to publish the girl's diary as proof that his daughter lived, loved, and hoped, and became the voice of six million Jews, the victims of the Holocaust. 75-year-old Louisa Lawrence survived. She lived on Anne Frank Street in Amsterdam as a toddler. Today, she has three daughters and six grandchildren. But throughout her life, she's had to answer the question, how does she feel about surviving, when Anne Frank, who lived next door, did not? I'm sorry. I'm the lucky one. Because we were allowed, you know, able to survive. And I'm very sorry that she was betrayed and did not. Um, when I grew up, and the diary was first published by the father. All of Holland hated it because nobody wanted to talk about that period of time and then to publish your daughter's diary people thought was terrible. Now I think how important it was because the rest of the world really didn't believe this really happened. For Anusha Vetician, I'm Joy Wagner, VOA News, Washington.